Endoscopic repairs correct VUR by injection of a bulking substance that allows elevation and coaptation of the ureteral orifice and detrusor tunnel. The method currently achieving the highest radiographic success rates is the double hit method, with results approaching that of ureteral reimplantation. This video will focus on the endoscopic correction of VUR using the double hit method. The patient is a four-year-old girl with recurrent E. coli urinary tract infections who is diagnosed with early filling right grade 3 VUR on voiding cystourethrogram. Hydrodistension is graded according to the distensibility of the renal orifice with a non-hydrodistending ureter graded as an H0 and the most significant degree of hydrodistension graded as an H3 ureter where the extramural tunnel is evident outside of the bladder. Hydrodistension allows visualization of the intraluminal injection site as well as assessment of injection progress. Ureteral hydrodistension causes the orifice to open before treatment, but following proper implantation, the ureter should remain closed with an H0 grade. Hydrodistension grading correlates with VUR grade with higher hydrodistension grades requiring more injected volume. Typically, between 1 to 2 cc's are required for H2 to H3 ureters. In this particular case, both ureters hydrodistend to a grade 3. Therefore, both ureters will be treated during the same session. When employing the double hit methodology, the needle is placed into the ureteral orifice and inserted in the mid ureteral tunnel at the 6 o'clock position during hydrodistension. Once the needle is in place, the scope is placed at the level of the ureteral orifice, allowing for position of the needle to be assessed. The needle is inserted to approximately 1 to 2 millimeters. It is important that the surgeon also be the injector, as subtle tactile feedback may be missed. Injection should proceed slowly. During the injection process, blanching and mounding of the tissue should occur. It is also very important to pull back the cystoscope during the process to get a bird's eye view of the implant to assure proper implant location. Bulking agent is injected until a sufficient bulge is produced which coaps the detrusor tunnel. An alternative to the straight metal needle is the inject needle. Hydrodistension is not required as a filiform wire is placed within the ureteral orifice. The sight and depth of needle insertion is controlled by a retractable needle and a gauge on the needle hub. Once the needle is extended into the tissue, rotation of the needle will also rotate the ureteral orifice, thus confirming proper insertion. The injection then proceeds as described with the conventional metal needle. Following the proximal hit, a second injection at the distal most aspect of the intraureteral tunnel results in coaptation of the orifice. In this case, an identical procedure was performed on the left ureter due to abnormal ureteral hydrodistension. Hydrodistension with the bladder nearly empty is performed following each injection to monitor progress. Additional injections may be needed to achieve an H0 ureter during hydrodistension. Objective endpoints of injection are the loss of hydrodistension with bladder empty and increased tissue turgor. The needle is used to depress the implant. Poor turgor will result in deformity of the implant indicating that more volume is needed. In our long-term experience with the double hit method, both radiographic and clinical success at one year follow-up was 93%. Importantly, 95% of patients avoided open surgery during a four-year follow-up.